just going to hold these books up really fast just to kind of show you that I'm not an imposter and I've actually um, written some books. This has an angel on it. You can, you know, I'll just leave them up here. This has an angel. This has a family photograph on it. This is my family. The name of the book is Liberty. It's actually all about Pittsburgh. I write a lot about Pittsburgh. And then these two books, too, are books that I've written. Um, and this very beautiful woman on the cover of this book is my wife, okay? Josh's Aunt Joan. So I am now going to read you some poems. But these aren't poems I've written. These are poems by maybe poets that you've heard of before. One, is his name is Shel Silverstein. And then the other fellow is Jack Proletsky. But let me just start. Let's get real here, okay? Okay, this first one is by a guy named Ken Net Nesbitt. Mm -hmm. He visited it's here. It's called. He visited here. Oh wow, that's great. Four years ago. Mm -hmm. This is called when Freddie had. What do you think he had? Baby. Spaghetti. No, he's not a spaghetti. Freddie had some spaghetti. And it's good that I'm reading, I'm reading that first because spaghetti's a pretty famous Italian dish. When Freddie had spaghetti, it was something of a sight. He would spin it with his fingers. He would whip it left and right. He would swing it in a circle. He would toss it in the air. He would flip it on his forehead. He would wear it in his hair. He would put it in his pockets. He would stuff it in his socks. He would cram it into cabinets. He would squash it into the clocks. He would drape it on the table. He would pour it on the floor. He would stick it in the windows. And then he would ask for more. He would play with it all morning, through the afternoon and night. But he didn't like the taste. So Freddie never ate a bite. <laughs> he just played with his spaghetti. Okay, how about this one? My puppy. Anybody have a puppy in here? Anybody have dogs? Oh, this is called. Here comes the poem. Here comes the poem. Okay, kids, this is called My Puppy Makes Pizza. My puppy makes pizza. He bakes every day. In a chef hat and apron, he's quite the gourmet. He'll roll out some dough and he'll give it a toss, then spread it on a generous topping of sauce. He'll heap it with cheeses and mountains of meat. But still, it's not something you'd probably eat. For though he makes pizza with obvious flair, it all ends up covered with slobber and hair. <laughs> Pizza. So next time you go to the pizza shop and they ask you what you want on it, say extra slobber. <laughs> okay, this is called. How's it going? You like these poems? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Huh? Pretty funny. Okay, this is called. As soon as Fred gets out of bed. Can you hear that little rhyme, Fred? Yeah. Bed? Now, not all poems rhyme, but it's a fun place to start writing them. And poems tell stories, too. Okay? And you should hear them, too. They're like music. As soon as Fred gets out of bed, his underwear goes on his head. His mother laughs. Don't put it there. A head's no place for underwear. But here, his ears, above his brains, is where Fred's underwear remains. <laughs> At night, when Fred goes back to bed, he deftly plucks it off his head. His mother switches off the light and softly croons, Good night, good night. And then, for reasons no one knows, Fred's underwear goes on his toes. This <laughs> <laughs> guy wears his underwear on his head. Went for a ride in a flying shoe. Hooray, what fun! It's time we flew, said Ickle me, Pickle me, Pickle me too. Ickle was captain and Pickle was crew and Tickle served coffee and mulligan stew. 
was higher and higher and higher they flew. Ickle me, pickle me, tickle me too. Ickle me, pickle me, tickle me too. Over the sun and beyond the blue. Hold on, stay in. I hope we do. Ickle me, tickle me, tickle me too. Ickle me, tickle me, tickle me too. Never return to the world they knew. And nobody knows what's happened to dear you guys are great. I'm taking you everywhere with me. There's a bus out there, and I'm gonna, we're going on tour together. Okay? Yeah.